All right, <laughs> starting from where we left off last time, from the, the brain rot this time, we're going to end, <laughs> we see, at tier three. But yeah, looking at the first one from Andrew from 675F. <laughs> right away, noticing that all your pneumatics are not connected. Definitely connect those. You're missing a, a high strength shaft or maybe a C channel on the bottom for your, your goal. So probably want to add that on. And uh, other than that, I think your, I don't know, this angle for your, this angle for your ramp is kind of weird, right? It's kind of like you go in and then it kind of has to go up very high. So what I'd suggest doing is just moving your intake out further more. And then you can have a less angled ramp for like this part right here. Because I feel like your hooks can't really go that down that far since you have this crossbeam here. So you're... So you're kind of like stuck where like your ring has to like might not be able to even go up all the way and unless you have two stages of intake of like so of course and also make make sure that your your doinker is uh is fully connected and not one by one so i'm gonna get this one a b tier hood brown op let's see let's see what little wheels cooking up wow that's pretty good it's a very nice angle for the for the ring because if you can see here it goes on just right away. It's like almost, almost like perfect, right? But honestly, you don't really even need that. I realized that like if you go in from a from an angle, it actually might be better than going on front, uh, like straight top. But I also get this one S tier, very nice. Dwinker. All right. I feel like this is kind of overdoing it because <laughs> I feel like you, all you need is just one piece. All you need is just one piece of poly because. With this, I'm mean, sure like you're cutting off the weight in the middle, but like you're adding on the screws and that adds more weight than the actual poly. So I'll give this one a B tier. Very good try though. It did make worlds. I've been practicing CAD. Okay, so the CAD practice. All right, it looks good. I think, uh, I mean, other than the fact that you're missing a wall stick mech, it looks good. <laughs> yeah. I think you need to triangle brace this like down, right? So instead of having this C channel that sticks out of the intake, intake chassis, you want to just use like a, a one by one or a C channel that goes from here down to here, right? So basically it takes this, so just remove this one and then have one that goes here to here and then you can just mount the piston off of that one and then it'll be perfect. But yeah, it looks nice. Good CAD. Good work. First year Vex National Trollbot came out of 8th out of 75. Damn. Really high placement. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'd suggest you change with this robot. So first off is that definitely if you have the chance, if you have the access to polycarbonate, change your, your ramp to polycarb. And also add a wall stick mech if you can. Because... That's it's definitely pretty important, but I mean, I'm assuming your intake works works well already and it's tuned well. But yeah, looking at this, if you want to keep the same robot, you probably want to go for like a direct mech, right? Uh, but yeah, oh, this is a C tier. I'm back, guys. Bot needs to be tuned, but it's kind of done. Okay, this looks very. This looks really really clean. I like the the battery or the the brain placement and the motors. The motors. All down here squeezed together making that center of gravity just super down low and center which is super nice and you see I, have, I see you have this color sensor here however I'd suggest you move this color sensor all the way up to the top here right if you can attach it onto this one by one and facing up or whatever it'd be really nice because if you have if you can put it all the way up here then you know the, the, the delay between when your your ring is flying off and whenever your sensor sees it is the lowest so it can be really consistent right i've noticed that when we had it down here it was harder for it to be consistent since the timing on this chain is a, is a little off compared to if it's up here then it's pretty much dead on so right i like how you have poly for your joints here very very nice but also like one thing is like you don't even need to have the the one by ones, right? You can literally just do a, a C channel that's like facing down, like a because I mean you're pretty much 
this is pretty much like C channel weight anyways, because you're using two one by ones. So at that point we just use C channels, but yeah, one by ones are, are pretty clean too. And I like the funnels too, very clean robot overall. And I think this is uh, a 600 RPM, direct 600, or not direct, but like geared 600 RPM. So incredibly fast. I don't know, I don't think 600 is even gonna be that good to be honest. I think I think a slower RPM will be better at Worlds just because of the intense wall sync plays. You need, you need to have those those high higher torque speeds to just put people off of those wall sticks. But yeah, looks nice. I'm a I'm gonna give this one an S tier. All right, bot fell off of tier three. Okay, this is not a tier three because it fell off. <laughs> what is kind of tier three is this? Let me see. It looks like it's a, it's one of those back like inside tier threes, right? It's one of the, I think it's the uh, fracture fractal. I think it's fractal. But it's the inside tier three with the, with the hooks and the the passive hooks on the, on the intake. Yeah, you can see everything is really bent though, so, I definitely, you know, support this piece more, right? I see that this, I don't think this is straight. <laughs> this does, definitely doesn't look straight. So your your Lady Brown Tower needs to be kind of adjusted there accordingly to to <laughs> make so that both sides are actually you know, straight. Because if you look up here as well, your this side is almost, this side's still like touching your intake while this side's like an inch away. So I think you would want to, to fix that. But yeah, you, did you have steel string? You had like steel string and it still snapped. I don't know. Maybe looking to get in like, I think it's like ultra high molecular weight poly uh something something string. Okay, maybe uh it's on Amazon. We had that and it worked worked pretty well, pretty flawlessly. Never snapped. So, and that's what it also extra, uh, Echo uses. So yeah, maybe if you ask them, they'll they'll tell you what it is. But yeah, well, <laughs> it's interesting because you have this, you have this uh like limit switch here. So this is some some tech i guess so you have this color sensor to determine the color of the ring and then the limit switch is for timing so instead of having to calculate the timing yourself you just have a limit switch here on the very top so then when the ring gets there right it always hits the switch and it like you know exactly when it hits so then you can sort so that's nice but yeah i'm gonna give this one a solid beat here all right 1000 rpm on 3.25 is the new meta is it? Oh, okay. Hey, that's fast. That is speedy. Maybe you could have like, <laughs> maybe if a lot of multiple teams have, have stuff like this. We can host like a, like a drift car competition, uh, a race, a ra a race at Worlds. Maybe if you're if you're out down, we can host a, a race. That'd be pretty fun. This is an S tier S tier robot. All right, POV. Lady Brown's too long, so you need a goofy off. Pull up a liner. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. So you have like some Urbans that pulls your aligner up. That's nice though. A long Lady Brown definitely is is nice because then you can score in, in auto even, right? So imagine that. That's nice. This is getting uh, an A tier. All right. Might add Yoink, Yoinker before Worlds. Okay. Six, seven. 101G, void, looks nice. A lot of poly, already noticing so much poly. And these aren't pivotable. So I wonder like what, how these are, how effective these are for rings. Cause if they don't move, then like the, would they just push the ring away? I don't know. Maybe they have, they have these regulated where, where like it won't go to go, like where it's like, it's not super powerful where it kind of acts like the spring or like, band mechanism itself where it kind of pops up when it goes onto a ring. So I don't know. You know, so this is super clean. They don't have I don't I don't see any zip ties or anything on it. It's just the flex was just on it. So yeah. Looks nice. I'm gonna give this one an A tier. Oh alright. Guess the video's ending. <laughs> tier three. I mean might as well just rate it. Looks like an outside tier three. But yeah. It's wow, this just so like the contrast is turned up to the max with exposure as well. Person that the 25,000 ISO 